Hello everyone, I'm Fajar Purnama and on this video I would like to share to you how to upgrade Moodle 1.97 to Moodle 3.2 and the test case for this video is the duplicate elearning.unut.ac.id which I have been grant permission and was asked to uh, assist in upgrading the Moodle server so uh, I have done this before but I'm making this video and currently that the contents and the users are alright I haven't checked the logs and whatever or the statistic and I'm doing this uh, test on let's see details on Ubuntu 6.10 if you ask me this is a new Ubuntu uh, which the PHP version is likely PHP 7 if you're like me like you want to migrate from uh, from uh, old Ubuntu server to a new Ubuntu server you probably need to do this to run the uh, Moodle from 1.97 you still need the old PHP which is PHP 5.6 and I recommend you to install both PHP 5 alongside PHP 7 you can follow the tutorial here and here he is a, I follow everything here get the repository update and install the p5.6 or they have the 7.0 so I don't need this and here's a way how to disable a PHP on Apache and how to enable a PHP and then restart so on this uh, demonstration I'm using PHP 5.6 since I tried PHP 7 will not work with the old Moodle version 1.97 the web server is an Apache 2.4.18 and a MySQL and a database server is a MySQL 5.7.17 and of course it's you need to have an administrator access to follow this video here I have all three terminals open as an administrator so basically your upgrade path should follow from version 1.8 to 1.9 stable then 2.2 stable then 2.7 stable then 2.9 stable and finally the latest so this is the duplicate server on the, on the local host of this computer and let's start upgrading this Moodle first off I recommend you to back up your server now we we'll run to run uh, to run this file manager as a administrator you can type in in um, in Ubuntu the file manager is a uh, Notus so as a root user to be as a used to user you should type sudo su and then you will be as a password and you will be a root then run nautilus and then you will open yourself a file manager as a administrator and the location of this web server is called is on far www and here is the Moodle data and here is the uh, Moodle the Moodle itself on the Moodle web or whatever on HTML so I, I so it's highly recommended that you back up this data Moodle the Moodle 
and the Moodle data just in case something went wrong and the third one you should back up it is your database to back up your database use mysql let me go to the www to back up your database type you can use a mysql dump mysql dump your, the username of your database here I make a tempor temporary root database username test model usually for a default user is a uh, root and then bin p to enable using a password and finally what is your database my database name is let me just log in into my database for a while my skill new test model in P and test model is my password temporary and then show database And here this is the database of this model server so back this up sorry this up into for example moodle.sql and then we have to wait for a while and then it's done so here is the backup database in SQL format. If you open it with a text editor, it contains a variety of uh, SQL commands, which I don't need this for now. Okay, the, this step is not really this the, the second step is not nearly necessary but it's to be if you want to be more safer after backing up your server you can do this uh, upgrading process by duplicating the Moodle server so to duplicate the Moodle server you simply copy the Moodle folder on the HTML here I copy for example paste then I rename it into Moodle this one is Moodle in a duplicate upgrade then you copy the model data paste and this is going to take a while and then you create a new database 
for that module or the assess the database MSQL menu this one is root or whatever your username and then create a database for this case is I want to create a Moodle underscore uh, root underscore duplicate underscore upgrade and I forgot to put closing here and then if you're finished you can quit but I'll leave it like this for now and show the database again and here it is the database is there after that you put you put the database that you have backup you have done the Moodle.SQL to the new database that you created so here we have the Moodle.SQL simply Oh, sorry. It it's a dumb. Did I succeed? Sorry, I made it wrong. It's not my skill, dumb. mistake like I did you can just drop the database and then create them again and I don't know if this my skill dumb works though but let's just see it's supposed to be only MySQL okay now we wait for it this one is already finished rename the folder into I add upgrade for example And don't forget to change the ownership to WW min data. And okay. And then for this one, the change your config.php. You modify the config.php and change the setting. Mm, this one, I made the temporary database user test model, test model, and this one change the database name and change everything. the dump is finished and finally check if check if the duplicate database works ok 
okay it's working and try to sign into a user now okay so this is a permission folder uh, this is a per permission properties permission group okay change permission for enclosed file for the files and folder and change ah, nah. so the best way to do this is uh, through a command line I like using a command line to change the ownership of the folder and it's and recursive and its files and give that permission to ww mean data Okay, now try again. And okay, and I'm logged in as an administrator. So everything is running here. For the second part, the duplic for the second part, the duplication succeeded and unfortunately I didn't succeed in upgrading the customized Moodle so you have to download the fresh Moodle and replace your current Moodle directly but I like using git so now cp so uh, this mean is to hmm, wrong one gmail so uh, back up the config.php paste and then delete this one oh sorry and this one I forgot go to the directory cd and finally uh, get a uh, git version of the Moodle from Moodle git uh, forget it this one is not needed I'm sorry so just like this is enough if you don't have git yet install git Okay, now it's uh, get getting the uh, model a uh, model from Git. And here I have a bracket. You have to change. Just in case, meaning recursive all the folder and the files.
is done next is copy the config data that we have uh, backup into that Moodle folder copy this one as you see this is a same Moodle but this is a git version which you can change version with git and next go to that, dire to that directory cd go to that directory and then get the stable version of module 19 and now we switch to a uh, version 19 of the Moodle if you're not using git then just download uh, Moodle 1.9 stable and name it to that one so basically this Moodle have to be 1.9 stable and then go back to uh, assessing to your to, to the browser Access from the browser. I'm um, accessing from localhost, and then it will ask you to upgrade from 1.97 to 1.919. And here there is a problem with Unicode. Go to the fo just follow the instruction. On migrating to Unicode, the manual process. So let me paste. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. So you for some Unicode stuff on your Moodle database if so follow instruction here sorry it's supposed to be over here instruction I use the alternative using SED which I see to be much more simpler you dump your the database first so one your user the database user and this one the password which is the same and finally the database SAD to do this stuff. I'm not going to
okay you do this to set the unicode and then you return the DOM SQL again a while well you can read the explanation while you're waiting finish and finally uh, try again there is no reload so just refresh this page enter so everything is okay so if there is a uh, dependencies for example like your missing PHP curl This one is supposed to be there too. Paste. For example, if it asks for PHP curl and you don't have. For me, I use a PHP 5.6, just apt install PHP 5.6 curl. For example, if you don't have these dependencies. Okay. And it's said that I already have it installed. And if everything's okay, uh, use this your server environment meets all minimum requirement then continue mm, looks like my server is missing a server clock but that's okay and you want to do another this one is optional but I like this one so up to you and now it's upgrading to the stable version of Moodle 1.9 this is the settings check for your check for yourself for me I just leave it like this Okay, go back to this one and log in as an administrator and check everything for yourself. I already checked before and I don't want to stumble on private data on this video, so I just leave it like this and trust that everything is okay. So after going to after go to 1.9 stable the next step should go to 2.2 stable download the next higher stable version of fresh moodle and replace your current moodle directory uh, for me i just use git cd to the directory then git check out to version 2.2 and it switched to version 2.2 if you are using manually just download and replace the folder with the 
new stable new 2.2 module and don't forget to modify your config.php now I says again from the browser this one refresh and then it will ask an upgrade to version 2.2 and continue and take, take a look make sure that everything is uh, okay if you're missing some stuff just follow their instructions and all environment minimum requirement is met continue and these are the plugins I don't know about this but I just continue so you check for yourself and finally it will take a quite a long process migrating course files stuff you should take note of this
finish these are the new settings check for yourself or may just skip and I'll do this later when during the real thing and save changes and go to home and check everything after this make sure it is upgraded okay it's upgraded to version 2.2 the next one will be upgrading to version 2.7 it's, sim it's simply the same process from 2.2 to 2.7 in your git just get the new Moodle point two point seven version if you're not using git download two point seven and replace that fold that directory you to change a uh, database engine to follow it here so maybe it's not here maybe it's to 2.9 okay continue with the upgrade check this yourself if I'm on the real thing I'm going to check them but for now for this tutorial just continue on Okay, finish. Now, before continuing on, make sure to log in. Don't forget to log in for the first time as an administrator because you need to to check the settings. Check the upgrade settings and save changes. Uh, check your software okay go back to the home site and this, since this is a tutorial I will skip this but in the real thing check everything yourself 
and finally after 2.7 the next jump will be 2.9 stable so git check out or copy it manual or download manually and copy and replace and set your config.php only I like it doing it like this and then refresh again and then upgrade to 2.99 and on this one is an unsupported DB storage engine the new uh, database storage engine is uh, is recommended to be using InnoDB, so you have to migrate every table to InnoDB. To do that, follow the instruction here. Okay, copy download this text file for me I just copy them I already have one here though oh, no 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 this one but I'll start again from the beginning PHP script change the user the the host the host is a local host my database host and the user is uh, okay I will set everything up so check everything and set them up execution or just before I skip let's just follow what he tells you to do he tells you to edit this part this thing and then give uh, execution permission and then use PHP to run this script for me I'm using PHP 5.6 as yes, you can see I do have 7.0 but I'm I'll be using 5.6 for now and this will take a long time as well because you have to change every table Wait, every table or every columns? Every table. And change the engine to InnoDB.
anything more than you read this
finish a long time and try again reload continue and it met all the requirement if not deal with them one by one plugin check normal uh, for now I don't want to look at them but if you're doing it for real may check them one by one Okay, finish to 1.22.9 Before proceeding, don't forget to log in and do the upgrade setting. Okay, go to the home site. 
and again check everything and finally the last stop is the newest Moodle version
asli login do the upgrade settings the home page and check everything if done then check your server and check everything and that's the end of the road folks thanks for watching the tutorial of upgrading Moodle 1.97 to Moodle 3.2 the test case is a duplicate learning not to Moodle ACO.id server basically the path is from 1.x to 1.9 stable, 2.2 stable, 2.7 stable, 7 stable, 2.9 stable and the latest and if you have any comment and I will if you have any comment and whatever to improve this tutorial or something that I miss or something that something easier that can be done whatever please feel free to comment